Ignatius487 here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. We're going to go see the Maester. And stuff. That's where... Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just lose control then. That's cool. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Can't see yeah. a thing. Whoa. What is that? Oh, it's a bird faced guy. It's a bird person. Oh, yeah, they're. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forget what they're called, but they they play a role in some of the. in, in one of the locations you go to that's where they. where they live. Now, this dude. That's a guado, right? For those of you who've played this, you know all about this guy, Maester Seymour. Yes. Oh god. I hate Seymour so much. We hate you. You're a jerk. And your hair is crazy. I don't understand what kind of wax or gel or whatever you put in your hair. Must be the same stuff Waka uses. Your hair does not move and it is a very it is a very strange layout like horns. People of spirit, I thank you, thank you for, for your generous, generous welcome. welcome. Yes, Rise, Mr. Seymour. Rise, Mr. Seymour. And all of you as well. <laughs> I present to you the son of Mr. Jiskel who departed for the far plain of Fortnite. Yeah, I'm a grand car. As some of you already know, he's got he weird like lines going Mr. on his Yellow. chest, like he's like it's stretch marks or something crazy on his I on his chest below the tattoos. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, of course you are. My father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my ability. People can almost see your junk, dude. This is a very low cut too. Bow your robe. Head. <laughs> That's funny. There you go. Really psychs you up, yeah? Stalker mode. All right, last meeting before the match. Also. There, there it begins. <coughs> the non event event that Seymour comes to take as some sort of signal that Yuna is in love with him. <laughs> Why are we doing all these random saves? I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's fine. I, it, it means I don't have to go through the cutscenes again if something weird were to happen. Oh, okay, here we go. This is the, the Blitzball tutorial. Do 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 do. Let the matchup draws. Do do. We had do, to play the Gores do. in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that too. On the one before that well, too. We would have lost to anyone anyway. Oh, come Walker. on now. <laughs> you guys get we all down and stuff. Alfred Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. Wow. That's right. We got seated. Two, Two wins, wins. And we're the champions. Nice. First did they, things first. Did we get seated because again, boys. <laughs> we're a terrible team? <laughs> is that is is that what happened? Or is it is it randomized? I mean I'm not sure what the Oh my lord. Whew. Uh Wow, okay. Five players per team in the sphere pool. The overhead map shows all players' current positions and the direction each is facing, blah, blah, blah. Titus is carrying the ball now. The ball carrier is displayed as a circled arrow on the map. Now let's watch the players move. I'm not controlling. Oh, it costs HP to swim? It may seem confusing at first, but it's actually quite simple. 
So by default, player movement is set to auto, so everyone moves around the pool automatically. The overhead map to check the player's positions. Triangular frame is the goal, right? That's what makes sense. The goal is always on the left hand side of the map. Let's resume. Try to keep track of the position related to the goal. Okay. Next, let's try moving manually. Oh, okay. Manual. I can now maneuver myself, and it's relative to the map as far as what, like, the way that I move. Only the ball carrier can be moved manually, all their players stay on auto. Uh, that's reasonable. It becomes harder to manage your teammates while manually controlling the carrier. This mode is recommended for veteran blitzers, which is not me right now. Now you're back to auto movement. Try switching between manual and auto to get a feel for both modes. Yay! Okay. So now what? In manual A mode, the direction of movement corresponds to the overhead map. Yeah. Manual B... Okay. Sure thing. Movement modes are only applicable when you are on offense. When you're on defense, your entire team moves on auto. Overhead map to keep track of play. Change movement modes to triangle. Okay. That's cool. Action commands. In order to make blah 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 square. Okay. Pass, shoot, dribble. Right. Pass and shoot are the most important commands. Makes sense. Be real quick. To no uh, select a retreat receiver. His stats are shown. Gotcha. Stats determine the outcome of each pass. Take a look at the number. Okay, so 10 is PA. Passing accuracy. Okay. To Titus. Keep an eye on the PA score now at 10. As the ball travels back to Titus, it, it reduces. It's relative to the uh, distance. Yeah. Friction of the water. That's actually a reasonable thing, I'd say. Right. Does it go does it go back up every time? Set his PA to three. Pass to Dato. Right. When a pass fails, becomes loose. Right. Understandable. Shooting. <laughs> this is going to be kind of a long uh, tutorial video. Shoot is now at 10. Uh, naturally. A shot that reaches the goal with a shot of at least one will score. Shoot. Right. The stats are displayed. Opposing team is red. That's reasonable. 
Catch is ability to catch incoming shots is shown as eight. Okay. It's at two. We we'll take. Ah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. CA applied here is randomized. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rowdy. Rowdy catches the ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got switched to random. Gotcha, gotcha. Shoot. Goal. I understand. That's pretty slick. Final shot is equal. Right. HP. Think of HP here as stamina because, right? First thing to remember is that. I gotcha. Falls. Yeah. Reasonable. Shooting and passing also consumes. Hello? Ten. Gotcha. Hmm. Right. Can still shoot. Ah, uh, the shots. Okay, the shots are only half as effective. Right. I am picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. All important information. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Let's see if we can blast through some of these. Select no break. Pass. An encounter will try to block it. The block is two. So that would be... Okay. They're all actually about the same distance, aren't they? Hmm. The weird thing about that is that he was behind me, and I don't know how he would have uh, would have tried to intercept the pass. Wow. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Multiple defenders. See how that works. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. So then there were. It sums up. Yeah. 
Doesn't matter who you throw it to, really. Dude! Dude! Ah. Roger, roger. Let's try shooting a goal. <coughs> Attempt to shoot. Blah, blah blah. Subtract the stats down. I see. Hmm. That is tricky. Tricky, tricky. Do breakthroughs next. Wow. PA stat is 17. Uh-huh. Ah. Okay. Break to grab. So I just break through your grab before making a nice move. Can't withstand the tackle, give up the ball. It takes endurance. Like it costs endurance? Uh, pass, I guess. Ah, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I understand, yes sir. Yeah. It's pretty complex. Not hugely so, but it can be. You can learn techniques from other opponents. Tech copy appears at the top of the screen when a player uses a technique. This indicates a window of opportunity to learn a technique. Press X at the right time in order to learn it. Let's try it now. I don't suppose it matters. Oh. Gotcha! Remember that the player who learns the te technique is not necessarily the one it is used against. What? I see. I see. Mm-hmm. 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 Sweet. We're almost there. Shooting skill. Ooh. Attack, strength of tackles. Skill at blocking. Goalie skill. Yep. <coughs> Poison. Okay. It's, uh, right. Disables techniques. Followed by tackling text and passing text. Poison effects are stacked with pile venom. It's kind of a douchey move. <laughs> Sleep's funny. Uh, ooh. Withers hateful. Not nice. Not nice at all. Techniques. No visible techniques by tech copying or by using the prizes right, right initially. Mm hmm. E no. 
Alright. We're actually really... That's good. Ten games were played during a league season with the winner determined by total points. Three points are awarded for a win. One point for a tie. You press triangle to forfeit a game but only when your team is losing. Gotcha. Tournaments span two to three matches. There are no draws, so a match ending with tie scores... With tie scores goes in overtime. Okay. Exhibition are only for practice. No... Oh, okay. No experience points are awarded, but you can copy techniques. That's pretty slick. Whew! Video tutorials. But, it's good. I mean, we're pretty much caught up. We get the gist of what's going on. There you are. Someone what? said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Really? Uh, Oren? Yes. Well. Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Well, well. <clears throat> How much control do I get here? Hey! 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 The game starts like real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Oh, okay. Hey, I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just, I need to, I need to save hey, it. Waka. You're stiff, man. <clears throat> no, no, not your face. Yes. Just breathe out, relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> just breathe. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> You're stressing out, bro. It's just a game, man. Maybe now we can find some <clears throat> Huh? How? <coughs> Oh, Sir no. Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jekt is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the Arn Yuna was talking about. And the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why, but uh. I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. Interesting. Um... This is where... Right. Hey! It's crowded out there. Yes. I want to save it. Yes, we do. Definitely want to save it. <coughs> Sweet. Now, the first thing we have to do... A lady summoner. Hey! Albed Sykes, right? Some Albed saved me the other day, and this girl Riku gave me food, and <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty funny. You don't understand me, do you? No. Uh, no. Uh, anyway, if you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Yeah, because saying it louder oh, and as makes for the a first difference. Game, may the best team win. Be weird, weirdo. Albert Primer, Volume Six. Yeah, that's where we're headed now. Once we can, once we get control here, here we go. Go across this way down here. Uh, wait, where's this? Ah, oh, there it is. I see it. Nice. Hey. That's a... A lady Ronso. Or, wait. Wh what are you guys called? Yeah. Lady Ronso. No unauthorized entry. Fine. Oh, there's a chest with uh, high potions. Yeah. Score. Yeah, yeah. And with that, we'll end the video. We'll, we'll go ahead and end it here. And the next one will be... Uh, we're going to go explore the docks for some items. So until then, Bumblebee Tuna, and we'll see you next video.